Hey everybody, one of the most important hypermiling techniques and the most effective is tire pressure. On, on, on most vehicles, look in the driver's door. You can see what the manufacturers recommend for tire pressures, front and rear. And notice they are cold tire pressures, which means your vehicle is not parked out in the sun and you haven't driven it in quite a while. It's got to be a while. You've got to probably wait about an hour after you finish driving and make sure you're parked in the shade. And of course, these are going to change. If you're checking your tire pressure in a cold area and you're going to drive down to a really hot area, well, you're probably going to be overinflated. Where if you're checking them in a really hot area and you're going to make a long trip up to a cold area, they're probably going to be underinflated. So what you want to also check on the tire itself, you'll, you'll find some numbers. If you look here, there's my knee cracking, you'll see the maximum recommended tire pressure. And on this, this tire, it's 51 PSI. Now, if you, went, if you remember, we saw on the, uh, the door sticker, it was in the uh, 30s, I believe. And I would say if you're trying to hypermile, as you probably know, the higher, the better. The higher your tire pressure is all around, the better your fuel economy. So you want to keep it as close to 51 without going over as possible. I usually keep mine probably around 45 in this vehicle. So we're well above the manufacturer specs, but well within the, ma the maximum tire pressure on this type of tire that I'm using. And do remember that when you overinflate your tires like that, it's gonna be, it's gonna have an effect most severely on wet weather handling and braking. It's just not going to stick to the road as much because you're gonna have a smaller contact patch, but you're gonna have much greater fuel economy. Just make sure you're well aware of the, of the trade-offs there and decide if it's worth it for you. Let me know what you all do with your tires, what types of vehicles you're driving, and what kind of results you get when you adjust these tire pressures higher for hypermiling. Thanks, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.